Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I hope the people that are watching this video are doing fine And may Allah bless all you guys So today, I would like to share the video about our discussion In site analysis and site synthesis in our site A Which is located at Bukit Tabu Selangor, Malaysia Before we start our uh, presentation I would like to introduce our group members as I am Numan Nabi Ben Nazaruddin as a group leader in this group. So the people on your screen is all my group members. Before we go further in our investigation about our site synthesis and site analysis, I would, like, I would like to share a background and history about our Bukit Tabu location. Bukit Tabu is located in Hulu Gombak Forest Reserve, Selangor, Malaysia. It also can be known as a locally as Bukit Hangus, Dragon's Bank and Crystal Hill. Bukit Tabu becomes local favorite hiking spot for regular and new visitors due to the easy access and natural richness nearby the city. Walk along the trail, enjoy the breathtaking views of the Kuala Lumpur skyline on the left and the reservoir on the right where the ridge splits the natural and urban worlds. So mostly, the people who are favored in hiking, they also want to see a beautiful skyline of Kuala Lumpur in the top of the mountain. Moving on, this is our key plan, location plan, proposed type, as well as the section of the site. Climate in Bukit Tabua. Climate consists temperature degree, humidity level, and wind direction and speed. Statistically, the climate there is hot and humid climate, where the highest temperature degree fluctuates between 31 and 33 Celsius degrees, and the humidity level is around 75% the entire year. Wind speed fluctuates between 3.5 knots, which is the slowest, and 9.8 knots, which is the fastest. However, the wind in Bukit Tabor is usually calm. Moving on to the climate analysis and synthesis. By looking at the side plan, we can see the sun path, where it rises from the east to the west. In addition to that, we can see that the wind direction is southwest in May, June, July, August, and September, where it changes its direction to become northeast from November to March. Talking about rainfall, nine months out of 12 months of the year, the rainfall precipitation exceeds 150 mm, which means Bukit Tabur is a rainy area. The synthesis are as following. For the sun path, a proposal for designing a retreat house that is facing the north in order to avoid the morning sunlight. Providing shading devices such as the trees on the east side of the site. Using solar panel in the east direction in order to generate power. And lastly, using materials that reduces the heat gain of the building, such as timber, and trying to avoid concrete as much as possible. Wind direction. Composition of open space, such as courtyard, can be placed in the southwest and northeast. Use of ventilation system, such as cross ventilation, can enhance the passive cooling system in the building. And lastly, the rainfall. A pitch roof is preferred in order to let the rain runs of the building and avoid causing any extra dead load on the structure. Overhangs to protect the openings such as doors and windows. Let's continue with the next important subtopic, sensory. The sensories of the site consist of good view from the site and positive sound around the site. The good view from the site which is shown in the round blue arrow showing that the site consists of 360 degrees of good view. It covers the view of city in southeast, the view of lake from the cliff in northeast, and the view of forest in northwest until southwest. Next, the positive sounds that can be heard from the site, which are labeled as yellow zigzag arrow, are the water sound from the lake in northeast and the sound of the forest in northwest. The strength of the site sensory is 360 of good views from the site 
which are the natural view towards the lake or reservoir and view towards the city. While the weakness is the existence of Bukit Tabo Retreat located quite near to the site which may affect the privacy of the site. And for the opportunity, the site will be a best resting and viewing area as it is located on a cliff and surrounds with natural views. Lastly, the threat is due to the 20 meters height of cliff edges on the site that is dangerous and may cause fatal accident. As for the synthesis, it is suggested to maximize the opening towards the main good view which is the lake. Even though it consists of 360 good views, but the main lake gives more calming and relaxing feelings. Second, at railing of flowery bushes along the cliff edges for safety. Human and culture. The races of the visitors, hikers and tourists of Bukit Tabo are divided into four main races. Bumi Putra with the highest percentage 62.9%, followed by Chinese with 23.4%, Indian 12.2% and others with 1.59%. Some of the activities and events that can take place in Bukit Sabo are hiking, river bathing, picnic and camping. While the work and culture at Bukit Sabo consists of professional hikers, cleaning services and tour guide. The strength of the site in the aspect of human and culture are the site surrounded, stay clean and it is easy to involve on nature activities around the area such as hiking and picnic. Contradict to that, the weakness is poor privacy on the site due to the activities that happen around the site. While the opportunity of the site is that the retreat house could be a landmark of Bukit Sabo. And lastly, the threat is all of the human activities could lead to the site's cleanliness issues. The synthesis that can be deduced from the analysis is to install fence or boundaries around the site for safety during performing the activities and for the retreat privacy. Now, let's move on to the next subtopic, neighborhood context. The shown contacts are not more than 2 km around the proposed site. The nearest contact with 1.1 km distance is River Resource Center Sungai Klang, following with MoneyGram, Center FE Interior Architecture Firm, Klang Gate Squad Ridge, Masjid Al Mardia, 99 Speed Mart Taman Melawati and the furthest one is Bukit Mas Apartment Taman Melawati located 2 km from the site. The strength that can be taken is the location of the proposed site near to residential area which can create the feeling of lively and harmony. Opposite to that, weakness of the site in this context is lack of road which make it difficult for visitors to access the site. Looking to the positive side, the opportunity that is possible is Bukit Sabo as the tourism centre can make the retreat known among the tourists and the threat that might happen is noise pollution and landslide. As for the synthesis, it is suggested to install retaining wall to prevent landslide and make road or pathway to access the site. And moving on, I'll be presenting about circulation. So, to go towards the purpose site and how we are going to access it, we can use three different roads, which is the main road, the side road or smaller road, and the hiking trails. So, for these roads, it is accessible by car, truck, motorcycle, and by walking and trailing. So, what are the entrance options? So, for the first entrance options, from the main road, you can use the hiking trail to access and go towards the purpose site. Or, from the main road, you can use the side road or smaller road and go towards the proposed site. It is accessible by truck, uh, car, truck and motorcycle for the second option. And for the first option, it is accessible by hiking, trailing and walking. So moving on to the SWOT analysis of the circulation. First of all, for the strength, it has good main road conditions. So going towards the site using the main road, it is extremely accessible since the main road conditions are very well maintained. Moving on, the second strength is the roads are lined with trees that give beautiful and calming sight. Moving on to the weaknesses of the circulation, it is lack of direct entrance to the site. And for the opportunities, we can improve the site road conditions. And for the threats, 
first of all, it has uneven and bumpy side road conditions and it has lack light sources along side roads. Now, for the synthesis of the circulation, what we can do is extend the side road to directly reach the site. Even more, we can add more light sources along the side road to give better view and better accessibility to the users going towards the purpose site so that it is more accessible. Moving on to the utilities, there are two main utilities that are surrounding the purpose site. First of all, the drainage system and second of all is the lamppost. Moving on to the SWOT analysis for the strength, it has good number of lampposts along the main road, making it easier for site visitors to navigate their way and to the site at night, making it extremely accessible going towards the purpose site. For the weakness, it has few drainage systems that are constantly clogged with soil and debris. Moving on to the opportunities, we can build more drainage systems and lampposts along the side of the road to make it more accessible and to make sure that the drainage system around the proposed site are constantly in well-maintained and good condition. So the threats are, it is, has lack of drainage system and lampposts along the side of the road leading to the site. Moving on to the synthesis for the utilities, the first one is provide more light sources on the side road leading to the site so that visitors do not have restricted eyesight when going towards the purpose site. The second one is unclogged drainage system for better water flow during heavy rain. This is to ensure that the drainage system around the purpose site are always in well-maintained condition. Now we will continue with the natural features. Since the purpose site is located somewhere at the Bukit Tabur, where it is surrounded by the wood, these are some of the forests that can be found near to the site which are tea plant, fern tree, mangrovite, carnival palm, cengapasi and chilean musket. Besides, there are also some others of natural elements that can be seen. For instance, there is lake, cliff and rock. These elements will create a beautiful scenery for the site, which will refresh the people who stay here. As I mentioned it before, the site is located at Bukit Tabu, to be specific at hilly area, where this location has its pros and cons. As the pros, it is surrounded by the trees that will provide cooling and shading to the site, and for the cons, the ground is shaping unevenly where there is slightly steep slope next to the site and the site is exposed to the wildlife creatures. Therefore, in the site synthesis, there is suggestion to have fences around the site so that no dangerous animal can come in and the safety of people inside can be secure. Location of natural features like trees are very crucial to the site especially to avoid from the scorching of sun especially when our position is on hill which is more nearer to the sun. Usually, the hottest sunlight will start from the noon till the afternoon. Therefore, the tall tree will be placed at the waist of the site. Moving on to the next topic of this presentation, which is man-made features. Nothing much to say about this because there's only a few existing man-made features nearby the site. For example, there's hiking trail, signboard and drainage system. Unfortunately, there is no specific access to the site and it requires the people to walk quiet far from the main road to get into the site. Moreover, there is no lighting sources along the trail that could lead to unwanted incident and it is dangerous. Therefore, in order to access the site, it is necessary to provide better and safe track with solar lighting from the main road. As a conclusion, the site has a very good view, clean air and surrounded by nature and provide privacy. As for the weakness, the site is far from facilities and it has no direct road to access the site for vehicle. And as for the opportunities, the site users can engage with surrounding recreational activities as well as it can brighten the site and surrounding area at night with light sources. As for the trap, the site is isolated from the public, therefore it will threaten the safety of the site users.
Next is the analysis highlight. There are many natural features such as trees that will provide cool and fresh air and the space and part of the site will have any light sources. Next, the privacy of the site can be interfered by white animals. And the next analysis is that the site has four main good views which can be advantage for the district design. Next, the site is located near the cliff area and lastly, the site is located at the top of the mountain so it will provide a great flow system to the retreat. Lastly, for the synthesis highlight, openings of building can face the good view and the next synthesis is plant tall trees with white canopy to avoid blocking the wind while shading the building. Next is extend the side road to reach the site directly. Also, we can provide shading on east and west side of openings. Next, we can build fences surrounding the site to increase the safety of the site user. And lastly, we can, we can add light sources around the site.